Lay on your back, place your feet on the wall. You're either gonna do this with your hips behind your knees or you're gonna do this with your hips right below your knees. Just check the instructions. So what you're gonna do is take a 90-90 position. Your heels should be in line with your knees. This would be too low, this would be too high. And you're gonna make sure that your back is completely relaxed on the floor before you do anything at all. So just melt here. Now you're gonna place the ball between the lower part of your thighs, right between, um, right above the knees. And you're gonna have the feet pointing straight up. And what you're gonna do is roll the feet as far to the outside as possible. So it's gonna feel like you're purposely walking on the outside of your heels. Your insides of the feet are not gonna be on the wall. So if this was flat, you're gonna roll completely to the outer heel as far as you can. Almost like the way that you would roll your ankle on a sidewalk or something. But just to give you leverage to keep that supination excessive. And through that position, through the outer heel, you're gonna to start to pull down. Hips are gonna to start to peel up just a little bit. You should already feel some hamstrings turning on. If it's too much for the feet to be in that position where it's uncomfortable, just play with the angle a little bit, but feel that the outside of the heels are what's pulling down on the wall. You should feel hamstrings turning on. What you're gonna do is keep the feet, but squeeze the ball at the same time. So it's gonna be a little bit counterintuitive. We're trying to encourage the shins to stay rotated out while the femurs rotate in. So it's very, very small. Keep those outer heels pulling down and start to squeeze the ball very gently until you feel your inner thighs turn on. You might feel certain parts of your glutes relax, but the hamstring will stay constant. Once you have that, you're gonna keep it and drive more of it. So now as you exhale, I want you to think about keep those outer heels pulling down while you're squeezing the ball with those thighs. So exhale, you can place hands on the ribs to feel it out. Make sure shoulders are not doing this. They're staying open and relaxed on the floor so that chest is very open as you're exhaling. Try to bridge higher through those heels, but keep that ball squeeze, especially when you let the air in. And you should feel a front to back expansion. So you'll feel like your back is expanding into the floor as well as your chest expanding up and out. Same thing again, exhale. Feel those ribs melting down, feel the heels pulling down, feel the ball getting squeezed a little bit harder by those inner thighs. If you're feeling good, add a reach. So palms facing up, right outside the knees. Keep the shoulders far away from the ears. Keep the chest open as you're reaching. This will help keep the ribs anchored down. Pause before you inhale, then slowly let it into your nose. and you'll feel that same expansion along your backside. 